about the Spiricom of William O'Neill. Yeah. Um, did you test it, the, the Spiricom? Uh, uh, yes, yes. We tested it, but it was out, without success here. Uh, I uh, met Meek uh, so, uh, as well as in the United States as here. And he brought this uh, tone tape. Uh, they used Emilio Monil, the experimenter, he used a tone tape with certain tones mixed and as a carrier for the voice. And this carrier, this tone tape, or this, these tones uh, were modulated on a high frequency carrier in the 30 megacycles per second band, short waves, and um, well, there's his voice. I met him, William O'Neill, personally, and apparently he was acting not only as a normal medium, but he was acting as a healer. And uh, he showed me a confirmation, an official confirmation, that he apparently brought a small girl, a girl back to life which was already considered to be dead. So this man apparently, and he was a very difficult person uh, to deal with. Uh, there was a quarrel between uh, Meek and uh, William O'Neill because he was a very characteristic people, uh, man uh, who was fighting, uh, he was a fighter. And uh, finally it, the connection between Meek and uh, William O'Neill broke down and finally, as uh, I understand, uh, he was uh, uh, sent to a mental hospital. So it is not, uh, it is dangerous uh, if somebody without enough st stability uh, is dealing with transcommunication and he uh, is always in, in the danger to drift off and uh, to lose his mind. So uh, we always warn everyone, and the first question from my side, if somebody is coming and asks me how to do it, I ask him, what's the sense? Why do you want to get in contact? And I tell him it is dangerous. And do not make yourself depending from the messages which you seemingly or really hear from the other side. This is dangerous and better leave it. You can never know how far you are influenced from the other side. And if this influence, you are an open system, if this influence is too strong, then you are unable to stop it. You start hearing voices everywhere, all around, not only on the tape, but everywhere in any noise. A flying, a flying machine yeah, can give a certain noise, and in this noise you hear a voice, and this voice is talking to you and is telling you to do this, you do this, you do that. Never do this. Never do this. In case you get in this uh, state of mind or consciousness, then stop everything till it disappears. And always tell the other people in, in brackets, because you do not know whether you are not dealing with yourself. You never know. Tell them you are your ma the master in your home and throw them off. Cancel them. Um, in, in all cases, uh, the spirit come of your Mick was uh, true. The communication was true. Yes, I think it was true, naturally, because the system which, with which in Germany Hans Otto Koenig, known experimenter, started to work had the same basis. Not exactly the same tones, but he started with tones. He started with tones which were in the um, uh, not audible bereich, uh, not audible uh, or frequency range, but higher. In this frequency range, which, uh, uh, how was the English man? Ah, the English. Ah, uh, what about English? Stop it for a moment. No problem. No. Okay. I try to think it is uh, um, the higher frequencies which we are not uh, hearing, but animals, for instance, dogs can hear them. It's a special term in English. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know what you... Yeah. What you and he mixed these tones and he changed the frequencies up and down, up and down, up and down. And this was the same system without König knowing about William O'Neill. So there is apparently one way to support 
the form, forming of voices, the creation, let's say, of voices, one way is to use electromagnetic ultrasonics, ultrasonics, yeah, okay. ultrasonics, uh, either in mechanical vibrations, really sonics, or electromagnetic frequencies in the same range, let's say 50 kilohertz around, or 40 or 60 kilohertz, mixed these frequencies may act as a, yeah, as a support for the forming of voices. Then Koenig changed the system, the basic system remained the same, but he added infrared radiation and finally he added ultraviolet radiation, including quartz crystals. And that is the system he is now working with and it brings uh, excellent voices in a dialogue. He is asking questions and he gets the answers sometimes immediately, sometimes after a short while. But the questions are answered and they are answered in a way which you can uh, get uh, same as your own impression from the tape I uh, give you. And, and uh, do they pass us information of how communication with them and how uh, build uh, uh, technical devices? No. Uh, some of them say they are working on the other side, they are working with technical devices. But as we know by mediums that this world, her world, can be treated or considered as a illusionary world, then apparently they have not our material systems, not our energy, not our vibrations because it's another time system and it is their picture, their mind picture, which they use as a support to come through. But it is not our devices, it is not our electronics. And asking them what they are doing, some will tell you, yes, we, guess we use electronics or we use devices, and we have even stations over there with people who are working on it and other people from the other side tell you, no, there are no, there is nothing. It is only the mind, it is only your consciousness or their consciousness thinking or getting in mental contact with the experimenter here and by him or through him getting into the electronic devices. This is my model. I cannot tell you exactly how it is because we have no details. It seems to be some sort of co-work, co-work from their side, from our side and our devices. That's my picture, my image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the, the future of transcommunication? Will we be there a new science or, or, or it will be uh, uh, like, no, uh, uh, a technique, a, a new way of, of, of spiritism, or who knows? Uh, will, will be uh, there a new science, uh, the transcommunication? Well, uh, you know, there are some people who consider the instrumental transcommunication a sort of spiritism. And naturally it is, because we all is spiritism, all is spiritual. Even if we are using our languages, your Spanish or English and my German and so on, we have 200 languages and any idea you have can be expressed in different words, in different sentences. So there is a background. If I use the word table, yeah, in any, in any form, in any word form, 200 words in 200 or 2000 different dialects, yeah, it is always the idea of a table. And we have to abstain from the idea that over there they are using our words normally. They must use them in some way to get in contact with the medium. But mostly the medium is perceiving something. It is not a voice. It is similar to a voice, a pseudo voice. And it is visualizing something. And then it is her task or his task to transform 
a vision into our languages, which we are able to understand, otherwise we cannot get in contact. So it is necessary that uh, there is another way of telepathic interlinking and yeah, it is interaction at its best. There are probabilities and they are never able to enforce a contact. They always say, we do not know. I asked my wife, you are aware when you were on earth that I made these experiments with my electronics. Can you tell me how you produce a voice in my device? And she says, no, I cannot tell you. It is my idea to get in contact with you and all the other steps, if there are steps in between, are automatically realized. I have no idea. I cannot see your apparatus. It is impossible. But it is no, not on my behalf. I just have some feeling. I just want to be in contact with you and then it is either working or not, but I don't know why. So it is very difficult. It is much more difficult as most people tell you. And therefore, I do not like this, what is normally done, and people write a lot of books about their experiences. This is all right. But you can never generalize a special experience. This is even the case for myself. I cannot generalize my experience. I see that other, pi other people, other experimenters, have similar experiences, and so I say, okay, it is my, it is there, so it fits together. It gives sort of system, but I cannot tell you or I cannot state that this is all and everything. I am only a limited person. And so we have a border and we cross this border in different places and get different answers. Um, re returning to the, the telephone calls from the other side, eh, ¿Querías algo? Sí, que rodaras un poco el Super 8, pero cuando yo esté preguntando... Es que me gustaría hacerlo en el trípode. No. ¿No? Nada que ver. Está bien la, la luz ahí, ¿eh? A 8. Ya lo he calibrado yo. Sí. sí. Pero des, tiene que ser desde aquí. Es que desde mi, desde mi ángulo. No, 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 no ha cambiado. ¿Cambiado la luz? No. ¡Ah! Oh. No, mine is here. <laughs> no problem. I still hear you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. 